and I learned a little something from Zach Greinke. You know, he throws his like an ephus, and you know, he's just telling me try to throw it as slow as you can. And I was, I just asked him, I was like, well, what if, like a hitter's gonna see that your mechanics are different? He's like, it's gonna look so different that the hitter's gonna just shut down most of the time. And that's what happened. You talk about a guy that it's like he's got a paintbrush up there. Or Zach Greinke is the, is the guy that comes to mind because, I mean, the guy will just make up pitches while he's pitching. And, you know, me and Zach are, are really good friends, so we talk a lot. And I'm like, really? Like, I'll text him after a game, and I'm like, really? You're just going to all of a sudden start throwing the nastiest slider? Oh, yeah, I changed my grip in the middle of the game. And I'm just like, come on, dude. I'm like, he just has it. And it, it like guys like him are so frustrating because it's like he just he just has that ability to just pick up a baseball and do whatever he wants with it. Man, Grinky is it, it the thing I love most about Zach is the honest assessments. If you want to know the truth, you go to Zach. You know, you want to know, you know, you know, how you were that last outing or kind of how your pitches are looking right now. Um I remember last year. So in spring, I was trying to get my, I was trying to work on my four seam a little bit because I had a four seam in 2015. Um, and then after my elbow injury, I just, whether it's, what was it? It was the arm swing, whether it was, you know, pitching with that problem. I just never really been able to get that four seam back. And, you know, obviously four seams kind of dominate the game right now, as far as fastballs go. I'm one of the, I'm one of the lone only sink, like only sinker ball throwing guys uh, around I feel like right now but so I was sitting there with Zach one night and it was after one of my starts we're talking about the start and you know he was telling me some things he thought I did well things I thought I didn't do well and I had given up maybe a home run or or something on on a fastball he was like hey um that the that that fastball you threw last night that you get you know that that hit on it wasn't a bad location but well was that a four seam or was that a sinker and I was like oh no it was a sinker and he's like okay he's like what about that four seam working on in spring you still throwing that and i was like no i kind of don't throw that he goes yeah that pitch was awful just like that he's like yep that pitch was awful you sh- i'm glad you stopped throwing that because that that thing that that's awful but it was it's, it's it's great because it's just it's just honesty and um The story behind that was he was actually in the dugout. So what happened was is he was he was have, he was pitching in the inning, and he thought there was a hole kind of forming. So he told the umpires, and they called the crew out. So he comes into the dugout and sits down. And I guess one of the umpires came to the dugout and says, "Zach, you can't be in here sitting down. This isn't like you know, this isn't your break. It's not your time off." So Zach was like, "All right, fine." So he grabbed his glove, went out to the mound, and sat right behind the mound. And then he came back in. He was like, "They're not gonna let me sit in here. I'll just sit out there." If you like these videos, hit that subscribe button and turn on all notifications so you never miss the latest Pitching Ninja video.